guys, Neely here coming in for a recipe review for you. I am trying to do some recipes from the uh, THM book, Trim Healthy Mama book, and I wanted to kind of go through the recipes that I do with you guys and give my review. So today I'm going to be doing the Singing Canary drink and it looks pretty yummy and different and something I haven't tried before. So I'm going to mix it all up here and give it a taste test and let you know what I think. Um, so the first ingredient is lemons. I It calls for two lemons um, with the yellow peel cut off, but you're supposed to try to keep as much white as possible because that has some good nutrients in it or something. And um, it said two lemons, but my lemons were really small, so I did two and a half just to be on the safe side. And you're supposed to put those in a blender with three cups of water and blend it up. So here I go doing that. So now that that is all blended up, I'm going to pour it through um, my strainer here. It's a, I bought this, it was called a nut milk bag and it's for making like almond milk and stuff, um, but it's just like a mesh bag that uh, strains out the fiber and the pulp. So. And to that, what we're going to add, I have my uh, recipe right here. We're going to do 400 milligrams of vitamin C, and I just got this vitamin C crystals um, from the Now brand at my local health food store, and about a teaspoon is 400 milligrams. So one teaspoon of non-irradiated turmeric powder. Now this is the turmeric powder I have. I don't know for sure if this is non-irradiated. Um, but it's what I had, so I'm going to go ahead and use it and then kind of look into the brand and see if it's um, a good one or not. So I'm going to do two teaspoons of whey protein powder, and this is the kind I got. It was on sale, otherwise I probably wouldn't get it because it was so expensive, but it was on a really good sale um, the other week. And this, So it's grass-fed, really good quality whey, and it's just plain. I'll go ahead and do the coconut oil. It's nice and warm today, so my coconut oil is all melted. Do a teaspoon of that. Three generous pinches of high mineral salt, and this is my sea salt here. One, two, three. Three splashes of vanilla extract. I'll just pour a little, I don't know how to do three splashes, but I'll just pour a little in like that. And then um, stevia powder to taste, and so I'm going to go ahead and do the same amount of sweetener that I do in my um, Good Girl Moonshine, which is about a tablespoon of this stevia blend that I have. It's not the same as what they sell on their website, but it's the same general idea, and um, it was on sale at the health food store the other day, so I'll do, actually yeah, this is for two quarts, so I'm going to do two tablespoons, and then I'm going to do four scoops of my stevia. That's what I usually do for a quart of liquid to sweeten it to how much I like. One scoop of stevia and one tablespoon of the stevia erythritol blend, and that usually does it for me. Optional ingredient is um, four to eight drops of therapeutic grade essential oil of lemon, and I have that. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in. I guess I'll do six drops. It's four to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Blend all that up, and there we go. It's all blended now, so what you're supposed to do is get a two-quart jar and fill it all the way with ice, and then pour the liquid over the top. And if it doesn't go all the way to the top of the jar, you're supposed to add a little extra water to get it all the way to the top. It has a very gorgeous color from the turmeric. It looks like fresh squeezed orange juice. It looks really good. Let's see how it tastes. Very interesting. It has kind of a creamy taste from the whey. It's really good. Hmm. It definitely has enough sweetener, so I won't need to adjust that. Yeah, that's really good. It's really it's very creamy, like um, like a creamsicle type. Um, I saw someone do it with orange at one point, 
which of course is higher sugar, but um, if you're having it with a meal as your fruit, it'd be really good. It's kind of like an orange creamsicle, but this one's like a lemon creamsicle. It's very good. So um, I hope you guys try it, and if you do, let me know. Let me know what you think, and I hope you enjoyed this little review. I will um, put the recipe down below, the link to it on their website, and um, you can find all the info there. All right, guys, I will see you again with uh, something else. I'll try to do some more of these recipes and more updates on how things are going with me, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.